How do you folks? Uh, so this is uh, Barbel take three, maybe take four. Um, I've been out a couple of times and I've just not, I've just can't catch them. Uh, I lost on my last session what would have easily been a PB. Um, I'm not saying it would have uh, been a double, but um, it was definitely a, a decent Barbel for me anyway. And uh, yeah, it did me on the rocks. So I've come back. Um, I've got one rod to be on natural, so I just literally brought a load of uh, red maggots to feed a fish. And then on the other, um, it'll be feed fishing again, but um, I've got a load of um, Seven Valley ambush. Um, unfortunately, I can't find the hook bait. <laughs> Pulled my garage apart this morning, can't find it. So I've got the um, Pelitos, um, 14 mil, it's this one, krill. Um, so I'll chuck those out as a hook bait on the other rod. If nothing happens, on one, it all starts happening on the other. Literally, I'll, I'll swap both over to the same bait, basically. Um, but yeah, as you can see, absolutely glorious uh, sunshine. Um, great if you're on a tan, not so good for barbel fishing. But in saying that, we've had quite a bit of rain and the river's up a bit. Um, I haven't actually got down to the water to see yet. Um, I can only imagine it be coloured. So um, yeah, not sure what's going to happen, but there's a few anglers on the bank already. Um, there's what? Four, five, six, yeah, several cars here already, so I'm well late to the party. Probably won't get the peg I want, but um, we'll find somewhere, we'll get a line out, and let's see if we can get, hopefully, bloody hopefully, a double, but any, any barb will do me, so let's crack on. Got something small on here. Be a chubbly tod, imagine. A roach, perfect live bait. <laughs> Size 14, hooky greedy little bugger. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, folks, uh, I'm on the board. Um, I was getting loads of little knocks, which you'd expect on the live, the live bait, the natural baits, uh, as in maggots. So I've, I've reeled it right in, I've literally dropped it just under my feet while I sorted the rod out. <laughs> the rod started bouncing around. Really nice perch. So <laughs> let's just quickly show you. Actually caught right, if it'll come out. It's caught right in, <laughs> in the first part of his mouth. But what an absolute donkey. Behave. Absolutely fantastic fish. No wonder the rod bent round. Um, might need the force which is to get grip on the hook. Got a size 14 um, barb look on. <laughs> Come on mate, we'll get you back quickly, or shortly should I say. Yeah, well chuffed with that for a first fish. It's quite long as well. Oh, it's getting back. I would actually suggest this might even be a barbel. Please be a barbel. <laughs> this has got to be a barbel. There's no way this is a chub. Fan bleeding tastic. Come to Papa, <laughs> please. <laughs> Trying to go back to the bottom. I 
And that uh, Matt is saying that they don't know if hang on. I think it's more a case of I need to just blooming hang on. Oh, get in. It's not a big fish. <laughs> but it's a fish. And he's just seen my ugly mug and shot off. Bounced off then. Even for a little fish, I can't believe they're fighting these things. <laughs> Come on, our kid, get in. I don't want Mr. Pike to see him. <laughs> Not ready. So, I'm not messing around. I've got uh, 12 pound Maxima line straight through. Um, oh, what an awesome sight. Lovely golden scales in that sunlight as well. Right, yeah, folks, uh, I have finally broken my barbel fishing plank in sessions. Um, it's not a big fish. Um, it's bigger than my uh, the last one that I caught from down the uh, Erdington Brook section. And it's a lovely fish. It gave such a scrap for such a small fish. Um, yet again, um, using all the baits, the proper baits, if you like, everyone tells me about. Nothing really happening. Um, so I've swapped over to meat. Um, same ground bait and pellets going out as loose feed with a nice chunk of uh, luncheon meat and it seems to have done the trick as the, the rod wrapped round. I have caught a perch as well which the GoPro did not record for whatever reason though there's a bit of footage uh, I'll show you um, hopefully from the, the iPhone uh, absolute belter right under my feet as well but quickly show this fish and then we'll get it back. So to be fair this fish has been well well behaved in the net not been thrashing around but I bet you know that anyone will start to mess around. So there we go my first barbell in a very very long time. Um, I know there's much bigger in here but do you know what I don't care I've got one. Um, mint condition loads of lovely golden flecks within its scales but from that fight I can just you know I know why you guys love your barbell fishing it's just something else. Oh, proper, proper made up. Lovely big old paddle tail on that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get him back. Something small on, I think it's another roach. Again, no, no real screamers. I just saw the rod bounce in the uh, rod wrist. What we got? Yeah, another roach. <laughs> Oh, I can't get my rod wrist. <laughs> rod in the rod wrist. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, it's a little chub. <laughs> little chub bit. Off you go, son. Right, here, folks. Uh, that's the end of today's session. And I've got to be fair, it's been a really nice session. Uh, more so for just being on the bank. And it's been glorious weather. I've, been, I've caught the sun. Um, there's a couple of times I could have just reeled the rods in and gone to sleep. It was that nice. Um, for any of you fair-haired lads or uh, gingers, you'll have been burnt, I'm sure, today. So, after sun, after sun. Anyway, um, I've got to be fair, um, I've broke my barbell blank. 
So I, I'm proper made up uh, for such a small fish. What a fight! I can only dream of or imagine uh, uh, as to what the the doubles the, the doubles uh, will give you. Uh, sadly, no doubles for me today, but. Um, yeah, I was just over the moon to have caught that barbel. Sod's law, the GoPro batteries cut out midway through the fight, so you didn't get to see all the fight meter land the fish. Um, at one point, I reeled the, um, the other rod in on the, uh, the red maggots, and I just left it in the side uh, under my feet whilst I sorted the, the barbel rod out, uh, or the, the barbel by lunch of meat, not naturals. And um, clunking old perch, decided to take the bait, um, and typically I'd got the GoPro running. So I'd press the GoPro thinking, yeah, there we go, it'll record it. Nah, completely missed uh, actually catching that fish. Gives a proper rod, rod rattler, so to speak. But uh, yeah, no real screamers today, um, but just really nice to be out. The terminal feeling's getting in there. The leaves are falling, you know, it's uh, you, lovely. To, to be fair, perfect for me today. It's a lovely cool breeze in the sun. Um, had a lovely chat with Mark, another uh, BA angler that uh, travels over and um, yeah, it's just been a really lovely chilled out day. So stupidly, stupidly, um, I've agreed to do a match uh, with the BAI uh, bailiffs next week. Now, I've never match fished a river in my life, so I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here. It's all for a good cause. Um, it's uh, uh, for um, a memorial of uh, someone that's passed away, uh, or in memory of, so to say, someone that's passed away. So um, it's for a great cause, but I'm going to look like a right tit because they're all weathered river anglers and there's old uh, Dickens here <laughs> We're rocking up. So uh, I might try and record that for myself, not not the other anglers, but for me uh, in regards to fishing. But um, yeah, if you're still with it, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs>